Hi, welcome to Microsoft's MTC. If you, like me, travel a lot and use the train, you'll be fascinated to find out about the project we've been working on with National Rail Inquiries, where we're using software and technology to hopefully transform the way people get information about trains. So to that end, I've set a challenge for two of my colleagues to basically get into the centre of London using this software. Let's hand over to them. So here's the challenge, you've got to get to London in 80 minutes or less, starting from here, Microsoft in Reading. So ready so, to London. Yep. So, um, right, I guess we'll use a laptop. First of all, check out the uh, train stuff online. Great idea. And then we'll use this mobile to keep track of what's going on. Brilliant. Right, let's, so, uh, let's plot the journey. Yeah, here we are, you can see the uh, map of the train network. This is using Bing Maps, or Visual Earth as it used to be called. It's using Silverlight and Deep Zoom so we can uh, scroll in and out really nicely and the train tracks are laid out on the map you know, using Silverlight. So this is a lot more uh, easy to understand than uh, the more traditional just views of tabular data. Yeah, that's right. I mean, here we've gone straight to Reading stations. That's when we're interested in. That's where we're going to be going from. We can see trains in the area and you can see each of those trains has got little um, directional indicators so you can see where they're going. We can see information about what departures there are from the station, what arrivals there are at the station. Reading obviously being one of the most busy stations to the west of London. Absolutely, right? yeah. And we can even see information about the station itself. Um, here we, you know, we can filter what's happening uh, on the arrival site. And the station info could be really useful to us because we can note down the telephone number and, uh, you know, if we needed to uh, to call them. Check parking, stuff like that. We can even switch to a, you know, a particular train by clicking on it and, and there, we, there we are. We can see that train, we can see what direction it's heading in and we can find out where it's come from, mm -hmm. where it's going to and what platform it stopped at at each of those uh, stations. So this is stuff we normally would never get to see as, as normal punters using the system. That's right, it gives us a lot of information about what's going on. Here we can see the sort of, you know, nice smooth scrolling in and scrolling out. Here we're using the control, we could equally use the mouse wheel. Yeah, it's just it's just a you know, straightforward deep zoom that you. This is going to make this challenge rather easy, isn't it? Let's hope so. Yes. <laughs> um, so we switched it now to a roadmap view. Uh, yeah, it's a view that we're all kind of familiar with. So this gives us a choice for going into Reading, whether to park or take the bus. Absolutely. In there, yeah. Yeah, we could do that. And now we've made it go full screen, so we can get a view of more trains now. This is using a state service. So there's a state service that's querying uh, National Rail's web services. It's going off to them and saying, for each train, where it is, whether it's on time, whether it's late, where it's coming from, where it's going to. And then within the kind of viewport that we've got available on the screen, it's plotting each of those trains. So This is really very graphical, isn't it? Absolutely. It's a really good visualisation of where the trains are. And look, as we go into London, I mean, look at the amount of trains that are there. Yeah. So if we were doing an onward journey or something like this, this would be really useful. Yeah, and the, 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 the blue trains on time, red trains are, are late, so it's really easy to spot the ones that Cut are... Cut the hot spots there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, so this is our journey in. It's starting to look quite good. I think we're going to be able to uh, find the right train there. Right, let's go and get the bus. Right, off to the station it is. Okay, here we are at the train station. Made it. Let's check the times of the trains. All right. Because um, I've got this plan that if we've got enough time, we should get a cup of coffee rather than sit on oh, the platform. That's a good plan, I like that. Well, let's have a quick look then. Right, so we're going to go from Reading, we're going to Paddington. So that's going to go away and fetch the train times using uh, web services that National Rail Inquiries have made available. Um, we can see that's come with a bunch of different trains, and we can see both the departure times, the arrival times, you can see what platform they're going from. That's kind of useful. That's now, excellent, isn't it? yeah, because we know where to head for. Okay, so it's currently quarter past three, and that one departs at ten to three, but it's delayed. So that's quarter to four, so let's not get that one. I reckon. Okay, that one's in three minutes. So that's going to be a bit of a rush. But we can take this one. That's a straight through. Let me get that one. It's about 20 minutes. Excellent. So, um, cheers. Cheers. Woo! 
Okay, okay. Right. right, what's the time? Right, made it with a couple of minutes to spare. Brilliant. So, uh, thanks, that travel information was really useful. Now, of course, if we'd not been doing this as a race, but actually been planning this up front, there would be additional tool we could use, and that's the Outlook add-in that I'm about to show Mark here. You got that installed on the uh, PC here? I have, so let's give it a spin. Let's fire it up. So this is my Outlook diary, and this is the add-in. I've installed to make life easier for myself in managing these journeys. So you click on that, and look at this, it brings up. It's picked up London from the appointment. It knows you work in Reading. So that's one of my defaults I've set up there. So this is a much easier way of working, and it's listing us a whole lot of trains. Great, so we just pick the trains that we want to go there and back. Yep, so this is it. There's the outbound, the return one. Those look pretty good, avoiding that uh, extra leg on the journey. We want a direct one. And the next thing you've done is put all that information as additional appointments in my diary, because I, up till now, tend to do that by cutting and pasting yeah. straight out of the web browser. But there we are, let's put the appointments in, all the information. Same on the return. Yep, text numbers and stuff like that if I wanted an update and I was out and about. Brilliant, and that's available today, and of course it would sync to your mobile phone, so that's a great download.